Welcome into the Spider-Verse. We have Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Man and Spider-Him. You know, it is 2022. Pretty soon we're going to have to call him Spider-Person as not to offend anybody. The last thing I would want to do is insult one of those fucking morons. As the Extreme Channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We got some more Extreme Rare Collectibles in front of me. We have three, that's right, three different custom statues of four characters from the Spider-Verse. That's right, it's the multiverse of Spider-Man. Most recently popularized a few years ago in this animated film. And they actually have a sequel coming out, which is what makes me really excited to do the reviews on this. Because it's actually based on those films. Now, if you recall, a while ago, I did this Spider-Gwen. That was the first in the line. Now they have these three additional pieces. Now, I was very fortunate because the commissioner reached out to me and he said, Hey, would you review these? Help me drive a little bit of sales. So all of these were sent over here. Going to review them, box them back up, and ship them back. But I am really enjoying these. So these are one-fourth scale custom pieces, which means they were private, unlicensed commissions, four times smaller than a real-life version. So obviously you have Miles Morales, another format of Miles Morales. You have Nor, we'll talk about him, and Spider-Ham, the pig, right up here. And there is a lot to cover today. So we're going to do an extreme review on these. During value, I'm going to talk about how much they cost and give you a little bit of direction if you want to purchase them. But let's just dive right in, and this is going to be very difficult to do because while they're technically the exact same character, they're completely different on so many different levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick it off with concept. And what's really neat is they play to each character to really give it that specific concept, yet they all go really well together. So I'm going to have a hard time describing that, but I'm sure as shit going to try. They all have very small concrete-like bases. So they're on the street of New York, of whatever Earth they actually come from. They're all from different Earths. Miles Morales, she, uh, Miles Morales, as you probably are aware, is a young version of Spider-Man. He's an African-American Spider-Man. Nor is actually another Marvel version of Spider-Man that's completely different. He's kind of like a badass. These are all museum styles, so they're kind of standing there posing for a picture. With Miles, you have him in his traditional black suit. You also have him in his black suit, kind of going around as a teenager, with a hoodie on and spray cans. Nora is leaning up against this awesome light pole. And, he, and they all have a number of different switch out options we're going to look at. Just looking ever badass as ever with his trench coat. And Spider-Ham, the pig version of Spider-Man, actually above him. With a little bit of a hammer. And I got to tell you, if you're going to go in on this line, you have to get them all because they work and play so well together. And they really make it stand out. It makes it classy. I normally don't like museum poses. But all of these together tell such a cool story. So I think if you look at the concept of these together, and again, I really wish I still had that Gwen here, but I sent it back. If you had all of them together, I think the concept would be a 5 out of 5. Individually, though, I'm going to say that it's a solid 3 out of 5 on each one. Maybe Nor being a little bit 4 out of 5. They added the extra flair. They added spider ham. So the grading, I didn't actually put up the scale, but it's kind of all over the place. But it is definitely cool. Now with design, usually I do an unboxing and assembly. They come in very small boxes, which is nice, as shipping is going to be really, really cheap, at least comparatively to most custom pieces. And they all assemble pretty similar. The body is one piece. Then they have switch out portraits and hands, even Spider-Ham. So let's look at all those. First on Spider-Ham, he can have a mallet, or you can have him with just a hand. To me, the mallet is 100% the way to go. He suited up Miles Morales has an unmasked portrait, which I really like because that's what really ties it to the Spider-Verse. Or he has a masked portrait. Now with his right hand, he can have just a fist, but if you're displaying the unmasked portrait, you can have the mask hanging in his fist. We'll call it the street version of Miles Morales. You can have his hood up over his masked portrait. Or there's this unmasked portrait that actually has the hood down, and I like them both. And his hand can be a fist, or it can be an additional spray can. So, so there's a total of three spray cans. For Noir, even more switch outs. First of all, there are two different portraits. 
Now they look really, really similar, and I should probably ask the commissioner what the difference is. I can see a few differences in the hat and the face, but not much. His right hand can be smoking a cigar. There's a Rubik's Cube, which I really like because that tells more to the character of Noir. Again, check him out online or in a book. It's pretty cool. Or he can have his gun. Also on Noir, there is an AC adapter here to actually light up the street light. Pretty neat. For dimensions, they don't take up too much room. Obviously, they're all a little bit different, but the bases are under nine inches wide. And then miles is about 19 inches. The lamp post, quite a bit higher, obviously, is a good 29 inches. Now, if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to display the lamp post, but I think it's quintessential and it would leave a big nasty key below. So a lot of cool options on design. And like I said, I like how the bases aren't all identical, but they work really well together, whether you're gonna have them like this or put them in a line. I really liked how they're going around on the turntable. And we're gonna show that again, so stay tuned for that. But honestly, I give the design a four out of five on each one. I think it's pretty well done, even though they're simplistic, some good switch out options. And I, I think it's always a good thing when you don't know which switch out option to display because you like them all. And I think that's the case here. Paint and sculpt, I really like these. You know, I really like that Gwen too. If you really want that film brought to life, then you will absolutely love these. And there's some really good detail. Let's take a look. All right, a lot to cover in this. Now, I wouldn't say they're weak, but comparatively to the rest, the bases are kind of the weakest part, but they look pretty damn good. So I like how both of these are, even though they're the same shape, so maybe the same mold, they, they varied it up. So he's maybe on a crosswalk or some spray painted grates here. I like how the sides of the bases really have that earthy tone like underneath the concrete that looks pretty cool. Now it's only on the sides. The front's actually clean, which I like. Cracks in the concrete as well. Where Nora's is a little more um, refined, which I like, almost like uh, stamped concrete. And here you have a little bit of green. So a lot of variance in the colors in those bases. Now on the characters themselves, the detail is insane. So for example, look at the sculpt in his shoes. Now, of course that's on the uh, street one here, but even on the suit itself, tiny little wrinkles, like see that, just how the light reflects off those. I like the texturized pattern on it. There's even a little Daily Bugle, a new Spider-Man back there. Cool little Easter egg they added. I think they did an amazing job on the outfit. The paint is really clean everywhere on this. We'll get to the portraits in a second, but like look at the zipper here on his hoodie. And then even the texture on, a, uh, on his hoodie back here. Fantastic job. Now while Nora is mostly gray and black, uh, even when you look at the folds in his uniform, some subtle details there, his uh, coat flowing, kind of the turtleneck up there looks great. Again, kind of creases in the boots. I think the anatomy on each character is done fantastic. Not over muscularized, but very trim and athletic. The portraits, in my opinion, are spot on. I think the mass portrait, they did an amazing job. A little bit of dust on there from the... I love the Miles portraits. Now, the one on the original one is slightly different. See how the lips curl a little bit? So I like that they're different. If you wanted to display them both, you could. Although, in my opinion, you go masked on one and unmasked on the other. The hair looks fantastic. And again, look how clean the paint is on this. These really look like they just popped out of the film. Here's a light pole. Looks fantastic. You know... The Noir statue, for being such a, a dark uh, character, it, it contrasts really well, a lot better than I thought. Spider ham up here looks great. I like the overemphasized head. The street light has a little bit of a metallic shine on it to really help differentiate from the character. There's just so much to cover here. Again, look how clean it is, uh, the paint around his belt. Everything's fully sculpted on here. The, the, even the paint cans look awesome. Just a little piece of dust on there.
more folds in his shirt. Really well done. I'm impressed with, with every aspect. Look how the uh, hat is creased. They did a really nice job on both the paint and sculpt on all of these pieces. I am really impressed. I think this is what kind of takes it to the next level if you're not a museum pose guy like I am. Again, kind of hard to rank them all together, but same artist doing these. You can imagine it's very similar. So much detail, even in like the zipper like we talked about, his shoes, the wrinkles in Nora's outfit. I think that the sculpt, the sc I have to give it a five out of five, honestly. I think it's like bringing the film to life. And the paint is incredibly clean. Really impressed on the execution for this. I think the paint's a four out of five, downgrading it a little bit because of the base stuff that we talked about. Now for value, well, I'm not gonna grade it because I didn't actually purchase these, I'm just reviewing them. Right here, I actually have the specs. So the edition size was 40 for each one. So very small edition size, which is fantastic. And this makes these incredibly rare. And especially with the film coming out, the sequel, I think this is gonna be really popular. And then here are the pricing for each one. However, shipping is quite a bit cheaper than most customs because it was a smaller box. Now, if you're interested in this, go ahead and email me, mrx at theextremechannel.com. I don't get any commissions or anything. I'll just pass on your information to the commissioner. Again, mrx at theextremechannel.com. So do these have the X factor? Are they a five out of five statue? You know, none of them are. None of them are like absolutely wow. But man, this setup, especially I like how I have it like this. I think this looks amazing. I would put it in the center of a room somewhere with all of them facing different directions. That really makes it pop. And I think all of them together are four out of five. You know, the films were pretty well done in my opinion. I would love to see if they're gonna do some of the villains from this film. Like the Kingpin I think would look absolutely awesome. A big shout out to the commissioner. Thank you so much for sending me these. And if I already didn't have a Gwen Stacy and a Miles Morales, then I would be picking these up in a second because I think they'd look fantastic with any Spider-Man display. So I really appreciate you guys watching. What do you think of these guys? Throw that in the comments down below because that could win you a statue. We will be giving all of these statues away plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. All right, I apologize there weren't any sexual jokes in the review, but just so you know, I was thinking about them the entire time. Really appreciate you guys watching. Please drop me a like, a comment really helps. And again, if you want these, go ahead and email me and I will set you up with the commissioner. Thanks so much, talk to you soon, take care.